Hello all the sweet little children out there. Um, I've made a, written a new story today and it's called um, The Elephant Who Forgot. Ivy, a bright blue eyed elephant, cheerfully took drink from paws, the paws of Africa safari. The other elephants were jealous of Ivy because she had the most beautiful blue eyes which is rare for elephants. Most elephants have yellow eyes. Ivy has always been different and she would love to sing through her nose but the other elephants would make fun out of her. Tusco, Nima, Cleopatra and Dinky all ganged up on Ivy to tease her. Look who is coming, mocked Dinky. Cleopatra replied, yeah, ditzy Ivy again, singing her awful tunes. Ivy ignored their comments and went down as usual to merrily sing her happy songs. Lima the lioness came to Ivy's side and encouraged, ignore the other elephant children, my dear, for you have such a beautiful voice. Ivy smiled. Well, thank you for your compliments, madam, but I am just singing to please the creator. Not just to be popular, but it is very sweet of you to say so. Elsa, another lion, was also taking a drink. She smiled. You are very modest, for Lima is right. Have you ever thought of joining the elephant choir? Ivy sighed, no, because the other elephants would just tease me. Gerald Giraffe overheard a conversation and said, you really ought to join a choir. You are an amazing singer. After the conversation, the other animals left, but Ivy's bullies, Tusco, Nima, Cleopatra and Dinky were still there. They looked at each other saying in unison, Let's push Ivy out from the water to the mud on the other side. So they pushed poor Ivy across waters filled with crocodiles. They mocked as they pushed her. Those crocodiles uh, will come and bite off your ugly nose. Then they jerked her upon the muddy banks and left poor Ivy alone and crying. She had been scratched by a crocodile but luckily managed to escape its cruel grip. Helen the hippo rebuked Ivor's bullies and shouted, Leave poor Ivor alone. She has not done anything to hurt you. Some hyenas that were friends with Ivor's bullies joined in with the mocking and giggled at Ivy. Look at Ivy, such a crybaby. All of a sudden, Ivy's dad came to her aid and snapped you have better you have better g g be gone you naughty hyenas even Lewis the lion came to Ivy's aid and chased all the naughty hyenas away poor Ivy cried nobody likes me Ivy's mum reassured her but they do believe me you have many animals in the safari that love you it's been proven today Look at who came to your side to encourage you. Ivy nodded her head and said, Yes, Mum, I know. The lions, the giraffes and the hippo all were sent by the Creator in to encourage me today. Ivy's mum nodded her head and said, And do not forget your mum and dad and brothers too. Ivy nodded her head in agreement. Yeah, I know, Mum. The sun... That night the sunset left behind a brilliant tray of orange and gold behind it. The summer's, sweet summer's air smelt fresh. Ivy enjoyed the rest of the day playing alongside her brothers and to her it seemed as if the past was behind her. Ivy then had a friendly chase with a beautiful butterfly. Her brothers Ivan and Nicole said together, You love butterflies don't you? Ivy nodded her head and said, Yes, the butterflies remind me of myself. At the moment, I am not much to, used to anyone. 
I am just like a caterpillar that chews. That, that depends on things to make me grow. But one day I will flourish. Like this beautiful butterfly, I will become someone. Someone beautiful that all the animals, including my bullies, will love. Ivan smiled. But if you think about it... Her brother smiled, but if you think about it, that caterpillar is already special because they hold that beauty inside of them, just like you already have potential. But one day, as life happens, you will have the opportunity to show with others the beautiful potentials that you already have inside of you all along. Um, Ivy smiled. Thank you, brother. I am grateful that you two brothers have always believed in me and supported me despite of the bullies, Cole smiled. Of course we do, because you are our sister. That night, the elephant family fell asleep, happily asleep and had sweet dreams. Billions upon billions of stars came out that shone brightly. The next morning, Ivy was woken by a huge thunder and lightning storm. In the distance, they could hear crying noises. Ivy wondered, I wonder what that could be making those noises. All the lions, giraffes, hippos, hyenas and all the other animals complained. What a hideous noise. Ivy's family was still asleep, but Ivy decided to investigate what all that commotion was. She walked closer and closer to the noise. This time, Tusco Nima... Cleopatra and their parents were walking around some shrubs and panicking. Ivy asked, whatever is the matter? Tusco cried, it is our sister Dinky. Last night in the storm, a huge tree bark fell on top of her. She is now stuck under it. We have been trying for hours to set her free. But our parents are far too big to squeeze through the shrubs and thistles to rescue her. If we only had another trunk to help us, I think we would be able to free her. Ivy replies, I will come and help you to free Dinky, Cleopatra cried. But we have been so mean to you. Um, why would you want to help us? Ivy smiled, because if it was one of my brothers, I would hope that someone would help me. You see, my parents have always taught me to do to others what I would hope they would do for me. Lena and Elsa were there and advised her, don't help them. Those nasty elephants will only be mean to you again. Ivy smiled, even if they are. I still have to show unconditional love. You see, love is not always a feeling, but it is about doing good to others. Yes, doing good even to our enemies. And it does not matter how they will act towards us. For what we do is for the always for the Creator and to have Him smile at us. With that, the lions, giraffes, hippos, even the hyenas and all the animals were moved by... Ivy's kind words. She then happily squeezed through the shrubs, shrubs together with Tusco, Nemo and Cleopatra and with her help Dinky was free and she ran happily back into the tusk of her parents. Ivy's parents also came on the scene after they and um, brothers also came on the scene after they had been looking um, for Ivy. Ivy's dad said to the Billy's dad your children have been bullying Ivy, the bully's dad replied. I am so sorry about that. We will make sure our children never tease Ivy again. But then to everyone's surprise, Ivy spoke up as she turned to her dad saying, It is all good, Dad. I have forgiven them. They are my friends. She continued and turned to her bully's dad. Please don't punish them so hard. The four bullies each in turn apologised to Ivy and from that point they became her friend. Then Ivy said something that amazed all the animals in the African safari, which was, listen all, it is said that an elephant never forgets, but I am the elephant who forgot.
as I chose to forget how I was treated in the past and to make a fresh start with every animal. And from that day, Ivy did indeed made a huge difference. Each animal learned to love each other unconditionally and to forgive each other. Ivy and her brothers and new friends Tusco, Nima, Cleopatra and Dicky formed an elephant choir together and the lions, hippos, giraffes and hyenas were regular audiences to them. In fact, the whole animals of the safari got together and all sang and played instruments to worship the Creator. And my thoughts are, when we in humility show agape love and forgiveness, we can often turn bad situations into good ones and bring even our enemies to know God. And the Bible verse here is Ephesians 4, 32. Be kind and compassionate to one another, forgiving each other just as in Christ forgave you. And I hope you were all blessed by that story and enjoyed it. God bless you all and lots of love.